I got a chance to speak with a woman who works very intimately with menstrual blood. Uh, Vanessa Teagues is a renaissance woman of sorts. She's mainly impassioned by painting, dance, design, and has also completed a master's degree in women's spirituality. This summer, she'll be revealing some collaborative creations filmed with Dave Navarro, and one of her paintings even appeared on an aircraft carrier, uh, which was called the SS Kitty Hawk in 2003. Um, the focus of our interview was a series of paintings she did entitled Menstrala. And also we talked about her master's thesis, which was entitled Spiraling Moon, a System for Menstrual Insight. So um, her series, Menstrala, features 88 paintings that she did using her own menstrual blood as kind of a documentation or journal of what she calls the monthly cycle of renewal. So here's Vanessa. I thought that it was very odd that when I was in my 20s, I was so much more aware of other cycles such as the paycheck cycle, um, than I was of my own fertility cycle. And I thought, when I came to realize that, I thought, gee, why is that? Why am I not as aware of my fertility cycle as I am of other cycles around me? And so I wanted to understand that. And um, by tracking my cycles with the moon, um, I discovered quite a few things. And um, and I created these mandalas, which are little circles, and I tracked where my cycle fell with the full moon or the dark moon and how it changed. And those were my little visual aids, the mandalas. Mm -hmm. And so then I realized, well, wait a minute. You know, these are really good visual aids, but how come there are no visual images of menstruation itself? to remind us of this. And so I decided that I wanted to create some positive, affirmative images of menstruation. And so I did that by using my own bright red menstrual blood um, as the medium for my paintings. And that's how I developed um, the painting journal. And that has you know, developed into a collection of, of 88 paintings and more are coming. Menstrala is a word that I created to describe painting or making art with the use of menstrual blood. Um, it's an expression of menstruation. And I love the word because it rhymes with mandala. Mm. Menstrala, mandala. And mandala means wholeness. And without the menstrual cycle, we wouldn't be able to be whole. When I created my paintings, um, I felt that, you know, I felt that using the menstrual blood itself as the medium was entirely expressive of myself, of my moods, of my sexuality, of my womanhood, of my understanding of the world and, and how I feel within, you know, the earth and the earth's natural cycles. And it's pretty mysterious. I think that the mood of every painting is very, you know, it, it's wide ranging. It can be sensual, it can be mysterious, it can be whimsical, it can be erotic, it can be even dramatic. And they're all red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're all bloody red. <laughs> like how, how do people react to your paintings? I think when viewers um, see my paintings, um, the first thing is, oh my goodness, if they don't know that the medium is menstrual blood, you know, they're just, they're just, oh, okay, these are, you know, nice images. They're, you know, calligraphic. They're, they're probably musically rhythmic. They're balanced. You know, they're, they've got a lot of qualities in them. But um, when they find out that the medium is actual menstrual blood, that's a challenge that can become a challenge to a lot of people because we're so used to keeping it, you know, hidden. But yet women deal with it all the time, so it's not really hidden from us. We know it's not. 
we we the things that we see um, usually are a reflection of how we feel inside. So if we see something, you know, that um, we think is beautiful, we might actually, you know, be be feeling similarly, you know, about that thing. So so in other words. I noticed that women who feel beautiful about menstruation will actually find the painting really beautiful. And the viewers who have a challenge with it and who still think it, you know, they, they think that it's something that is dirty or, you know, shameful, they, they tend to find the paintings revolting or, you know, they find it to be... Um, offensive. So it really depends on the attitude one has towards the medium that will determine how you see the painting. And that's interesting the, the, that the medium speaks for itself. The medium is the message in that way. Mm-hmm. How do you feel like men and, and menstruation, like what, what do you, ha- do you, what are your ideas about, about that combination? I definitely think um, that Men can be easily influenced by the way a woman perceives her own self as she is, you know, menstruating. And if a woman has, you know, holds herself up high in esteem when she's menstruating, I think her partner, whether, you know, it be male um, or female or a male who, you know, has a negative attitude or not a negative attitude, he will probably um, be affected by her esteem. So um, it's really up to, I think, you know, the woman herself. That's where it starts. And so if, for instance, a woman is embarrassed and that, that happens and she, she wants to be in isolation during that time, does not want to engage in intercourse during that time with a male, then, you know, um, I think, you know, that's, that's her choice, and, and that's a good one. In fact, sometimes I feel that way on my cycle. It's not every cycle that I, that I want to, you know, to be sexually active. Sometimes there are, there are cycles that, you know, your mood is different and you, you, want, to, you want to just, Relax, but if you really are with a partner who you love and they love you very much, then I think the act of you know intercourse during menstruation is a very healthy thing. It can be because there's trust, and you trust one another, and it it um, it can be so beautiful, and it can be so full of um, you know fire and exploration and desire and passion and um, sensuality. When you think about a, a flower, you know, in full bloom, um, it's sort of like that. It's like the bud had completely opened itself and revealed the inner parts of the flower. It's sort of like that. And it's, and it's like, you know, you're letting the world in the flower is letting the world see it. And it's kind of similar, you know, that's going on, I think. <laughs> you think about it, you know, with intercourse and what the vagina actually does when it wants to receive. You know, mm-hmm. it will open up. It will do those kind of things that flowers do. And when a woman actually feels that happening, um, it's it's pretty remarkable. It's phenomenal, actually. 